For the voice zone, one of the key things is representation. And over the summer, we've been working a lot on perhaps one of the biggest issues for students, which is housing. So we've partnered up with a local private renters association, as well as started working with the council to make sure that students are aware of the key hazards they face potentially in student uh, housing, as well as who to go to when you need support. Secondly, we've relaunched Change One Thing, which is an opportunity for all students across the university to share your ideas, big or small, for the sorts of things that you'd like to see the union campaigning for and the university changing. And last and perhaps most excitingly, following our annual members meeting a few months back, the union is introducing liberation representatives who are students uh, across the university that represent different sections of the student community, whether that's people of colour, LGBT, disabled students or international students, to make sure that everyone has a voice throughout the year here at Surrey. So far this year, we have overhauled the STARS criteria to make it more inclusive for our diverse range of sports clubs and societies. We've also put on our first two society and sports club signatory training events, Team Surrey Conference and Society Conference, where we've really invested in our current students and helped them develop their soft skills. We also ran active freshers on the Saturday and Sunday of Freshers Week, where we had over 2,500 students come through the Surrey Sports Park doors to get involved with the diverse range of activity we have here at Surrey. And we also ran an event for the first time here on Stag Hill campus where we had over 130 students turn up to get involved with everything from ballroom and Latin dancing to touch rugby and that was a really great event for us to introduce as well. So last week we ran Let's Talk Sex Week where we focused on consent, sexual health and sexuality and we also produced a survey on consent on campus so you can fill it out and give us some ideas about what we can do for you. So over the next few weeks a poster is going to be going up in campus kitchens based on how to do kind of the simple foodie things, food hygiene just to kind of help you with your first few months. I know that I really struggled in my first year with cooking so I hope that this is useful to you. And the support zone have also been setting up Nightline which is a listening service run by students for students for those that need someone to talk to at night and we are recruiting for nightline volunteers now. So this summer in the community zone we got off to a really great start with you guys helping us to raise 3,309 items of food for local food banks around Guildford. So thank you so much for everybody who donated and let's try and get even more items of food next year. At the start of September, we sent out just under 9,000 emails to returning students with our Living Off Campus Guide, which details some of the basics of living in a house for the first time. And finally, during Freshers' Week, we held the first ever off-campus welcome talk for our first years that live off campus. This was a huge success and we are already in discussions with the university about how how we can make it bigger and better next year. So this year we had our biggest and best ever Freshers Week. We had the highest number of students moved in over moving in weekend. We had the highest number of students in Rubik's every night and we had the highest number of students at Freshers Fair with the most sports clubs and societies ever being able to get involved. However, after a fantastic Freshers Week, we were unfortunately contacted by quite a large number of students that have been disappointed with their first week at university here. Whether that's their lectures were overcrowded, their lectures weren't on campus, they've had issues with finding parking and we've raised all of these issues with university management which spurred me on to write a paper and present to council our vision for transforming the student experience as this is something really important and links to my manifesto about how the university needs to focus more on the students that are here right now the day-to-day -day experience that they go through rather than big transformational projects if anything the student experience needs to be the transformational project that they are focusing on we heard from you from your feedback last year that the new campus cards didn't have expiry dates on them and that this was a barrier to you getting student discount. So we've managed to pressure the university into putting the expiry dates back onto the cards but it's sorted now for freshers and my priority right now is making sure that the second years that missed having expiry dates on their campus cards get theirs exchanged as soon as possible. 